That was amazing, Daniel. You're really getting good with your wand. Thanks. There you are. What took so long? We've been waiting since dinner. Sorry, just needed a little extra wand work. That's a great idea. Got to be prepared. I've no clue how I'd handle myself in a duel. I'd probably get disarmed and hung upside down too. How? Daniel, wait! He didn't mean anything by it. Come back. What did I do? <sighs> Daniel's still a bit sore about, well, all the things you said just now. He's mad that he got bested by Cassandra and Colby Frey. It was Fisher Frey. How on earth do you tell them apart? Uh, because one of them smells worse? <laughs> Fisher's hair is parted slightly to the left, and he smells worse. A painter has to pay attention to the detail of her subjects. Speaking of paintings, where's Gosma? Hello, my friend! Gossima, where are you? I'm in a dark cavern. It must be enormous. There's nothing but black as far as the eye can see. You must have ventured far to find me. I hope it wasn't too dangerous. You're behind a bookshelf. I am? That's fantastic. I love to read. Uh, did you know Gilderoy Lockhart's autobiography, Magical Me, contains a brand new forward by Gilderoy Lockhart? Take a look and see. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get you out of there. Weird. Someone didn't want that to move. It's probably enchanted to keep us from rearranging the furniture. Guess we gotta do this the old-fashioned way. A hand, anyone? Perhaps with a little better leverage. Copy retractum! Look out! Fighting pixies! Antipodian Umbrella! Look, we worked together. Alright, everyone. We're in this together now. Atmosphere charm. Chill up, Benham. Confringo. Incendio. Well, that must be why they secured the bookshelf in place. Thanks so much, Kevin. I didn't know they were there. At least we freed Gossamer. You rescued me. Again. Of course we did. We'd hate to lose you, Gossamer. We missed you over the summer. And it's so lovely that you came back. You never know if your friends are going to return. Even to say hello. We'll always come back. We promise. What can I do for you? We're looking for a map that leads to a rare, magical artifact. Hagrid said that one of the paintings might know where to find it. Hmm, I've never heard of this. I thought you knew everything about the paintings in Hogwarts. Mostly everything. I can only sniff around so much. I only have one nose, I think. Perhaps the portraits in the dungeons would know something. The dungeons? We have to find the map. Besides, nothing's down there that can hurt us, right? I don't think so, but it can be quite scary. Between the creepy noises and the total darkness and the ghosts, why don't you let me investigate? We'll go and check it out. It's our assignment, after all. Besides, how scary can a dungeon in a school be? Uh, we will? Maybe one of us should stay on the lookout up here. I nominate... me. If we stick together, there's nothing to be afraid of. That's the spirit. Let's go. 
Well, I'll stand guard here, in case you need me. Lumos! Are we going the right way? I don't see any paintings, and this hallway seems to go on forever. Um, I'm not sure we're in a hallway anymore. Why's that? Where'd the walls go? Uh... <laughs> Surprise! Now, where's your invitation? You need an invitation to poke around the dungeon? No! You need an invitation to attend my Death Day party, of course. If you haven't heard, the Death Day parties of Sir Nicholas de Mimsy Porpington are a thing to behold. This time, it's a surprise party. I'm surprising all the guests. <laughs> How is it a surprise if you sent out invitations? Oh, right. Uh, that does seem to be a minor oversight on my part. Well, good thing the party's still not for a few weeks, eh? <laughs> Sir Nicholas, I'm afraid we don't have an invitation to your party, but we would love to celebrate with you, if you'll have us, of course. After much consideration, I've decided that you and your friends can attend the party on one condition. What's that? I insist you come as my honored guests. Now, I'll need your still very much attached head sizes to make your party hats. That sounds wonderful. I can't wait. I'm just glad I ran into you before the doorman saw you. The doorman? Oh, yeah, yes. This nasty troll I hired to keep the riffraff out. Not very bright, though. If anyone were to crash the party, he's under strict orders to attack when I give the signal. I simply say the word security, and he comes charging right in. But no need to worry about that now. You just said the word. What word? Oh, that word! Whoopsie! Acromantula Benham! Incendio! I'm always fancy. All right, everyone. We're in this together now! Antipodian Opalon. Atmosphere charm. Sorry, man. I'm done for. Troll. Acromantula Venom. Do you? Now you're in trouble. I'll get you. Glacius Max. Trolls, no problem. Robin, look out! <laughs> Locomoto Whibbly! Good timing, Kevin. <laughs> you followed us down here all by yourself? I was worried about all of you. And I didn't particularly like being left alone upstairs. How disappointing. Now who's going to watch the door? A uh, Nicholas, while you're getting ready for the party, we'd love to look at the decorations, particularly the paintings down here in the dungeon. That's a good idea. We need to make sure all the paintings are on the list. Carry on. I must see to the punch. <laughs> Not a moment to waste. 
How are we going to find the right painting? It's not like we can just shout out. Has anyone seen a map leading to a secret treasure? Oh dear. I've never heard of a map. Or have I? <laughs> a lady never tells. Are you the new house elves? Oh no. You're too clothed. Who the heck are you, lady? It's a lady, Apprentice Paget Goggins. And I insist you take me back to the Grand Staircase. You'll have to excuse her. Her house burned down over a century ago. Her portrait was the only thing that wasn't scorched. She was moved to Hogwarts after the fire, and promptly stashed down here, because she kept ordering wizards to get her tea. That's such a sad story. She must have lost people she loved. Miss Lady, do you know about a map? It leads to a family heirloom that was lost. We'd like to find it and give it back. What about our homework? I haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. If there was anything your family left you, or anything left at all, you'd want it back, right? Yes. Yes, I would. It's okay. I lost someone too. There were so many people who cared for me. People who would dust me every day and wipe smudges off my frame. Is she talking about her servants again? I know about the map. I heard about it after they moved me to this dreadful locale. I can help you find it. But first, I insist that you restore me to greatness. I want to go <sighs> back to the Grand Staircase. I'm not sure we can just take you. Sir Nicholas! Hello, guests. Oh, I see you found her. Always complaining about the noise, that one. I dread to know what she'll do when the party starts. Sir Nicholas, can we... Can you take her? Why, that would be splendid. Yes, away you go. And do make sure you're back before the party starts. <laughs> This is more like it. A home that suits my stature. Wonderful. Now, what can you tell us about the map? Nothing, I'm afraid. Because I've never seen it. But I know who has. My old neighbors talked about the map. So, where are these old neighbors of yours? Sadly, they moved away during the Battle of Hogwarts. One left and never bothered to write. The other established a residence in a rather bad neighborhood. Can you describe this bad neighborhood? It's rather dreary. Whenever he comes to call, he hops on and on about a dark, secret chamber full of snake carvings. He would very much like to move, I think to be closer to me, but a lady mustn't be too presumptuous. Now, if you excuse me, all of this travel and talk has put me right out. I bid you adieu, children. Great. Now we're right back where we started. I think I've heard of that secret chamber. I've got an art book that talks all about the paintings and decorations at Hogwarts. There's one chamber that has a rather bold snake motif, although that's just the rumor. The place is nearly impossible to find, and even more impossible to enter. The Chamber of Secrets!
you want. Come to laugh at miserable, moaning, moping Myrtle, too. No, uh, of course... Or perhaps you've come to use me as target practice like those wretched Slytherin twins. I may not be able to feel physical pain, but it still hurts. No wonder you're so upset. I'd flood the bathroom too if someone did that to me. Sectum Sempra! Acromantial event! What if we work together? All right, everyone! We're Sectum in this together Sempra. now! Sectum Sempra! To be fair, Draco was rather nasty to Harry, wasn't he? And Harry's suspicions about Draco were correct, weren't they? Not to mention that Draco did attack first. That's besides the point! If Harry had just taken a moment to listen to Draco, the whole mess could have been avoided. I don't know about that, but I am surprised that Harry Potter, THE Harry Potter, used such horrible dark magic. And against a fellow student, no less. I know. I swore in that moment that I'd never forgive Harry for scarring Draco's handsome, pale face, no matter how much he begged me. But those big, beautiful green eyes of his looked so scared and guilty that I just couldn't help but forgive him. still here? You can go now. I'm telling you, there's no way you could have won that many duels in a row without cheating. And yet I did. So unless you've got some proof to back up those bogus claims, I suggest you get to work on our potions essays. And no big words. Slughorn's starting to get suspicious. What was all that about? The Freys have been on a suspiciously long winning streak in dueling club, so I accused Bishop Frey of cheating. He goaded me into a duel to see for myself on the condition that he'd turn himself in if I was able to find proof of my accusations. I take it that you didn't? No. So in addition to being totally humiliated in front of the entire dueling club, I now have to do the Frey's homework for a week. And let me guess, you're still convinced that he's cheating and want to expose him? You know me too well. Almost as well as I know Fisher Frey, which is why I'm certain he's up to something. If you're that convinced, then how can I help? 
Well, I was planning on tailing them. I suppose you could help keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Do. Daniel's on to us. But what if someone finds our cauldron and supplies? Calm down. No one ever uses Mona and Myrtle's bathroom. That's why we picked it. Even if they do, they'll have no proof it's ours. I was right. They're definitely cheating. Should we tell Professor Flitwick? No, at least not yet. It'll just be our word against theirs. If we really want to corner them, we'll need physical evidence. Then I suppose a trip to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom is in order, isn't it? Judging by the ingredients they've gathered, and the sparkling turquoise liquid in their cauldron, I'd say the Fraser brewing a scintillation solution. A sin what? It's a potion that boosts your proficiency and intelligence. Similar to a wit sharpening potion. It's no wonder Fisher Fraser's on a winning streak. He was already a pretty talented duelist before. Under the effects of a scintillation solution, he must be master level. The only question now is, what are we going to do about it? What if we swap their scintillation solution with a placebo? They'll go into their next duels expecting to win without much effort, and hopefully get a rude awakening. I do have a bottle of pumpkin juice on me that we could pass off as a fake potion. A simple color-changing charm and they'll never know the difference. What happened? I thought the scintillation solution was supposed to make it so we always won. It was. Bloody useless potion. That's the last time I rely on it. <laughs> Think the phrase learned their lesson not to cheat? Huh. Thanks for helping me expose them. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go tell them to write their own stupid essays. <laughs> 